Hello and welcome to the Life on a High vlog for April 9th, 2020. I'm your host, Joel McLaughlin. And today I'm going to talk about a little bit of a more, well, lately everything's been a COVID-19 update. But one, today I'm going to specifically talk about one certain item. And that's uh, how um, we all are dealing with going to the grocery store. Um, specifically, I'm going, to, I'm going to criticize a little bit of what some will say. Why don't you use curbside pickup or you know, or get somebody to deliver your groceries or something like that? Okay. Um, first, I'm going to go with the app-based ap approach. Uh, I have some screenshots and I'm going to go ahead and throw in here. Um, right now, um, the app-based delivery systems seem to be a little bit overwhelmed, especially when it comes to groceries. Um, so I want to put, as I talk about each one here, I want to put them all out. And granted, this is from the Columbus, Ohio perspective, not from anybody else's, because this is where I live. Okay. Um, so uh, in in um, the case of a local run grocery store, Meyer, uh, they uh, use the Shipped app for their grocery deliveries. And this is, uh, as of yesterday afternoon, I was looking at this, and I'm sure it's not improved today. But today, no more, or yesterday, well, there was no more windows deliver, uh, delivery windows available. Second, Instacart, the best one right now. And this was as of yesterday. Uh, next delivery would have been within five hours. Okay, and that's for Kroger, and uh, I think they do some other stores here locally. Prime Now, which is going to be Amazon and uh, Whole Foods, no windows available. All right. Another thing for Kroger, and uh, this one's actually run by Kroger, something called ClickList. ClickList, the next date I could get something pay, and basically drive over there and pick it up is April 14th. Okay. So right now, one uh, criticism I have of the app-based delivery services is that uh, they are overwhelmed. And it's not their fault. Everyone is trying to use them because nobody wants to go into store because they want to keep their social distance and they want to reduce their exposure to the virus. And I get that completely. Okay. But one other aspect that a lot of people don't really think about is now I'm very comfortable putting my credit card information into an app. Um, but, um, someone like my grandma, if she was still alive, she wouldn't be comfortable doing that. My mom and dad would not be comfortable doing that. So in those cases, uh, you know, I, the senior hours are probably the best, best case things for them. That's who, what they should be doing. Um, if my mom was still alive, that's what I would tell her to do. I would tell her just go in the morning and get it done. All right, um, but what we have to think about is people have to get food. Okay, uh, so those food and grocery stores are essential services. They just are. Okay, another essential service I believe is a hardware store, and a lot of people will say, "Well, why is that an essential service?" Well, I'm, I want to say this right now. Um, I have a friend who's. Currently, he works for the same company I work for, uh, but just in another uh, department. And uh, he had a water heater go out and the pipe going into his house all during the epidemic. Hardware stores, pretty essential. Pretty essential. You know. Now, is, is uh, most stores at the mall essential? Maybe not. You know, but the whole thing here is, is we're expected to keep social distance. Uh, and uh, basically, the only thing you, we really can do to to do that without making life very much not pleasant is uh, reduce the amount of trips we we go to the store, and we'll, and basically make sure that we keep social distance when we're at the store, and that we wash our hands afterwards. So, anyway, that's gonna be my uh, uh, my little bit tidbit on uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, the family's doing well. We have everything we need. Uh, we're healthy. And I thank God for that. So take care. Bye-bye.